Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz with your host, Gail Dixon. Tune in every Saturday, 9 a.m. for great shows about obtaining and maintaining health, business, and finance. Learn from the experts here at PIHradio.net. And now, broadcasting from the Partners in Health and Biz studio, here's Gail. Well, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my show. Welcome to Partners in Health and Biz on the PIH Radio Network. I am so very happy you could join me this morning. If you are a first-time caller, then welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you have been with us for years, (laughs) then we are so happy that you are still with us, and we just want you to have a wonderful day. This is Saturday, June the 23rd, 2018, and We are ready to kick off a fabulous show for you this morning. If you've been to the website, you know that the show this morning is 21 Days to Wellness with Dr. Emily Grant DiCarlo, my special guest. So we're not going to hesitate. We're going to jump right into the show. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my special guest. There's so so many aspects to her life. She's such a wonderful person. She's so talented. Dr. Emily Grant DiCarlo, she is an entrepreneur, an author, a poet, wellness consultant, evangelist, spiritual coach, and educator. She is the founder of the Grant DiCarlo Institute for the Healing Arts, DiCarlo's Developmental Systems, Women's Empowerment Network, and True Spirit Evangelistic International Ministries. I have been knowing Ms. Grant DiCarlo, wow, since, uh, since our early days as students at Hampton University, was then Hampton, Uni- Hampton Institute. So now I am going to, without further ado, open up Ms. Dr. Grant DiCarlo's microphone and welcome her to Partners in Health and Biz. Good morning, Dr. Grant. How are you, Dr. Grant DiCarlo? Good morning, very eternal friend, Gail Dixon, overjoyed. You just don't know how blessed I am to be connected to a simple person like you. You talk okay. about me being quite talented. But We're is. having a little bit of a problem um, hearing you, uh, uh, Emily. Could you, okay. <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know. Could you speak up a little bit? It's a little um, a little noise in the background. It's kind of uh, your voice is just a little. Um, so could you speak up so we can? We definitely better? don't want to miss anything. Yes, that's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Emily. We lost you. We can't hear you. Um, we may have. I may have to have you call back in because we completely lost you. I can't hear you at all right now. So call right back in. (laughs) Yes, we are holding for Dr. Emily Grant DiCarlo. She is calling back in. You know, sometimes this is Internet radio. We have technical problems from time to time. But we are going to just push right forward because we don't want to miss any of this show. Uh, Dr. Grant DiCarlo has some uh, powerful information she wants to share with us this morning, 21 Days to Wellness, because many people are struggling with all types of illnesses, minor and major, from colds, flus, allergies, to diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. Some have given up hope of ever getting better, and others have tried all sorts of tricks and unfounded remedies to dread their ongoing health battles. So this morning, Dr. Grant DiCarlo is going to share with us her 21-day wellness and lifestyle plan. You're going to learn how you can gain energy, stamina, and renewed health in 21 days, and there she is. Welcome yes. back, Dr. Grant DiCarlo. <laughs> Welcome to me, and thank you so much. I um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay, well, we can hear you now. I can hear you now. So, so let me ask you. Um, I brought Angel this morning. Also, I said I would give her a shout out. 
Okay. Hello, Angel. <laughs> okay. So, wow. Uh, Dr. Grant DiCarlo, I'm just going to call you Emily because it's a lot easier <laughs> to our audience. We know we know that she's Dr. Grant DiCarlo. I'm going to call her Emily. So, yeah. Emily, <laughs> I probably do both. Could you expand upon your suggested 21-day plan for healthy living. We all want to hear about that. We know that you are a natural a natural path. You deal with health and wellness, and you deal with treating people naturally. You, you don't believe in um, a lot of different pres- prescribed drugs or anything like that. And you have a plan that's been working for you, and, of course, we all want to know what that plan is. Tell us all about it. And can you hear me um, playing through my mic? Um, it's still yeah. Hello. So can you okay. can you go over the the natural uh, your twenty one day plan for healthy living? Okay. How tell us about how you got started with that and why you think it'll be a good uh, idea for other people to be on this twenty one days to wellness. Okay, it's it's not a plan that's really new. It's an ancient plan, and a lot of people who practice natural uh, wellness can tell you about this plan. A lot of churches practice it because it is based on the plan that Daniel had in the Bible. Okay. So it, it's really not new. I, I did not really come up with it. I may have modified it somewhat, but it's not a plan that, like, I wrote a, a lot of my methods come from the Bible, okay. and oh. I'll tell you some uh, uh, about that just just for a moment because some of the plan involves using hyssop too. Because in Psalm 51, David told God to create in him a clean heart and renew a right spirit within him. So, and he went on further in Psalm 51 to talk about cleaning me in the inner part. And like in the Hebrew Bible, the inner part specifically means heart. But in the King James Bible, it may just say inward parts. So the heart is, um, we, we know, a great organ, and it is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body. So we need to have that regulated, and we need to consider our heart health. So part of the plan involves hyssop, because David says in Psalm 51, wash me with hyssop, and I will be clean. And so it wasn't just a metaphor. We really can use a couple of drops of hyssop um, on the vegetables, that's and what it, what exactly what what exactly is hyssop? Is it like as a herb? Is it a plant? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. It's a plant. Now we use essential oils, and mm-hmm. essential oils are the extracts of plants. And so we use that hyssop, a couple of drops. And, you know, when you eat your vegetables, which is part of the plant, and or you juice if you juice. And you put all your greens together. You drop a few hyssop in the blender also. And you drink okay. that. And that mm-hmm. will help with your heart during your twenty one day plan. And, and where 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 can where can we get the hyssop? Where can we purchase it from a um from the health food store, from the grocery store? Where where can we purchase the hyssop? You can you can get it from places that sell essential oils. Okay. It's okay. It hits up and you take a few drops or people who sell herbs and herbal extracts, you can you can go online okay. and you can uh, Google it and you can find the sources and just watch the grades. If it says 100% pure brave because you want the pure grade, mm-hmm. the okay. therapeutic grade. Oh, and okay. Mm-hmm. But now the part of uh, the plan, I'll just go over the the three parts of the plan. And basically, it's what Daniel did. Daniel ate uh, the vegetables. He did not eat the king's meat. 
he would not eat it because it was sacrificed to idols. Mm-hmm. And so it's part of the plan you also can eat. You can eat some fish. They okay. ate fish in biblical days. You can eat mm-hmm. some fish, but you don't want to eat any red meat. You can no eat red your meat. fish okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because your fish has the omega-3. Right. So right. we hear a lot of talk about omega-3. That's right. And the essence of omega-3 is that it is good for the heart. So mm-hmm. as I explain the plan, you will not only see that this plan addresses certain issues you uh like of the heart, but also it addresses issues related to diabetes. Because if you eat you can eat the fresh vegetables, just watch out for beets if you have diabetes. For you said beets? Beets, uh huh. Uh, okay, so beets. Beets are not good yes, yes. for um, someone who has diabetes. Okay. Right, because it's sugar. It's full of sugar. Oh, right. So okay. you want to watch okay. that. Mm-hmm. You did not know that. No, I didn't know that about beets. Okay. Right. Uh, for, for diabetes. I don't really eat a lot of beets anyway. Um, mm-hmm. Every now and then I may eat beets. But um, I know my mother's a diabetic. My dad's a diabetic. So I will let them know, and I, you know, of course, our listeners, <laughs> our listeners are hearing that right now. So that's very, very good information that you're sharing with us. So yes. um, go right uh, ahead, go right ahead. Okay, I, I, um, I went to school for natural health because there are a lot of things that you cannot just Google, and when you're talking about uh, natural health. Some things will contradict another, so you got to know the whole picture. So right. When, yeah, and because there are a lot of things people would say, oh, well, I can Google that and I can find that out. It's okay for Googling products, but you might want to, you know, look a little deeper and refer to your natural health consultants or your naturopathic practitioners to get the whole picture. Because mm-hmm. there's something to the conflict with medications that you're taking. Right. This right. particular plan involving eating your vegetables, that's the first thing, and juicing, that's another thing. And, Gail, I know that you are very uh, proficient in this, too. You know, when I visited you, you had uh, told me some things uh, that you do, and they go along with this plan. Uh, right, right. I I yeah. eat lots of vegetables. Yeah. I eat mostly fish, no red meat. Um, yeah. Juicing. I do do juicing with vegetables and uh, raw vegetables and fruit. And so yeah, uh, I've been <laughs> been doing some of these things that you're you're telling telling us about. Uh, maybe maybe even more. <laughs> so yeah. if we do if we do these things for 21 days, at the end of the 21 days. What is going to be the result? You will feel healthier. You will feel revitalized. It's a pattern that you're starting. It takes 21 days for a chicken to have to egg. You sit Mm -hmm. on it for 21 days, and at the end of that cycle, you will see uh, an egg hatch. (laughs) So (laughs) you, (laughs) you, you will have birthed something. You will have birthed a new way of living. And you could do it again for another 21 days, but you will have given your body a rest also oh. because okay. you will not have eaten what I call hard food, red uh-huh. meat. You will have given your body a rest from that for 21 days. You will not have consumed sugar for 21 okay, no days. Sugar. Okay, so, mm-hmm. so give us no all sugar. the things. No sugar. Uh, yeah, lots no of sugar. vegetables, fish, yeah. no red meat, yeah. juicing. Can be, you do some juicing? Yes, yeah. juicing with mm-hmm. your vegetables. You know, you want to watch out for drinking sugary drinks. Okay. And a lot of times we, we are not aware of all the sugar that's in, in our drinks. So you might mm-hmm. basically want to drink water during that time. And sugar-free drink mixes. Also, you 